you find this video helpful please like subscribe and press the bell icon for notifications our topic for today is nth roots of unity so as we know that the exponential form of a complex number is z is equal to r e to the power i theta so its nth power will be z to the power n is equal r to the power n e to the power i n theta which we have already explained in our video number 15 of the series of complex number under title powers of complex numbers so now for nth roots of unity it should satisfy z to the power n is equal 1 1 is unity now for z to the power n is equals to 1 let's put the value for z to the power n which is r to the power n e to the power i n theta so this will be r to the power n e to the power i n theta and for 1 we can write 1 times e to the power i times 0 so it will give us e to the power 0 and the value for e to the power 0 is 1 so if this is z1 and this is z2 complex number then it's in the form of z1 is equals to z2 and this part we have already covered in our video number 14 under title exponential form where we discuss that z1 is equals to z2 if and only if their r's are equal and their thetas are equal and their theta will be equal if and only if theta2 is equals to theta1 plus 2 pi n so for z is equals to z2 which is possible if and only if their r's are equal and their thetas are equal so here r to the power n should be equal to 1 so r to the power n is equal 1 and now for the theta part here n theta should be equal to 0 but we cannot take uh, it as n theta is equals to 0 so let's see uh, the equivalent theta for z2 and we know that if we increase theta by the multiple of 2 pi we get the same result so e to the power i0 can be written as e to the power 0 plus 2 pi 0 plus 4 pi and so on so we can say that e to the power i 0 plus 2 pi k is equivalent to e to the power i 0 so we can write uh, e to the power i 0 as e to the power i 0 plus 2 pi k for k is equals to 0 plus minus 1 plus minus 2 and so on so n theta is equal to 0 plus 2 pi k for k is equals to 0 plus minus 1 plus minus 2 and so on therefore we can find the value of theta here which will, which will be 0 plus 2 pi k by n or 2 pi k by n so theta is equals to 2 pi k by n for k is equals to 0 plus minus 1 plus minus 2 etc so r is equals to 1 is one of the solution because r to the power n is equals to 1 and to find the all possible solution we will get z is equals to e to the power i 2 pi k by n for k is equals to 0 plus minus 1 plus minus 2 plus minus 3 etc which will give us all possible solutions so therefore there are n nth roots of unity and they are e to the power i 2 pi k by n and it can be written as cos 2 pi k over n plus i sine 2 pi k over n by Euler's formula so it will be cos 2 pi k by n plus i sine 2 pi k by n for k is equal to 0 
plus minus 1, plus minus 2, plus minus 3, etc. Now, nth roots of unity can be denoted by omega n. Yeah, I know it's looking like w, but it's omega. So, n nth root of unity will be omega n to the power k is equal e to the power i 2 pi k by n for k is equals to 0, 1, 2, 3 until n minus 1. So why n minus 1 here not n? So to understand this let's take few equations and in first one we have highest power 1 that is x to the power 1 so we will get only one solution or one root here and in our second equation highest power is 2 so we will get two solution two roots for highest power 3 it will give us three roots and for highest power 4 it will give us four solutions so for power 2 that is n is equals to 2 means two roots and we will get two roots by putting k is equals to 0 and 1 and for n is equals to 10 means 10 roots which we will get by putting values for k as 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so now 9 the last value of k is 9 and not 10 and 9 is n minus 1 n is 10 here so it is n minus 1 so that's how we get n minus 1 because of the extra 0 here now let's solve power of unity for n is equals to 3 so n is equals to 3 means we will get 3 roots and we know that nth power of complex number is r to the power n e to the power i n theta so we just substitute this for z to the power 3 so we will get r cube e to the power i 3 theta and for 1 we can write 1 times e to the power i times 0 because e to the power 0 is equal to 1 now e to the power i 0 can be written as or it is equivalent to i 0 plus 2 pi k for k is equals to 0 plus minus 1 plus minus 2 etc therefore r cube e to the power i 3 theta will be equal to 1 e to the power i 0 plus 2 pi k or if we consider this as z1 and this z2 then z1 will be equal to z2 if and only if their r's are equal and their thetas are equal so r cube must be equal to 1 here and which will give us our first root that is r is equal to 1 so now we need to find two more roots because n is 3 here and 3 means 3 roots now the thetas should be equal so 3 theta should be equal to 0 plus 2 pi k which will give us theta is equal to 2 pi k by 3 for k is equals to 0 1 and 2 because we need only 3 roots so 3 roots we will get by putting 3 values of k therefore z cube is equal to 1 cube e to the power i 3 times 2 pi k by 3 and if we simplify it we will get e to the power i 2 pi k therefore z cube is equal to e to the power i 2 pi k for k is equal to 0 1 and 2 so n is 3 here so we will get 3 roots by putting the value for k as
0, 1 and 2. Now by Euler's formula, Z cube can be written as cos 2 pi k plus i sin 2 pi k. And now we just need to put the values for k as 0, 1 and 2. And make two more columns, one for theta that is 2 pi by 3k and 1 for z that is cos theta plus i sin theta where r is equals to 1 because of the roots of unity. So when k is equals to 0, theta is equals to 0 and z is equals to cos 0 plus i sin 0 which will give us 1 plus 0 i. Now for k is equals to 1, theta is 2 pi by 3 then cos 2 pi by 3 plus i sin 2 pi by 3 will give us minus half plus root 3 by 2 i. Now for k is equals to 2, we will get 4 pi by 3 as a theta then cos 4 pi by 3 plus i sin 4 pi by 3 will give us minus half minus root 3 by 2 i. Now let's put couple of more values for k and take 3 first then the theta is 2 pi and then cos 2 pi plus i sin 2 pi will give us 1 plus 0 i which is same as for k is equals to 0. Now put 4 theta will be 8 pi by 3 and then cos 8 pi by 3 plus i sin 8 pi by 3 will be minus half plus root 3 by 2 i which is same as for k is equals to 1. So values of z repeating after k is equals to 2. So we will get 3 roots with k is equals to 0, k is equals to 1 and k is equals to 2. After that we will get the same 3 points. Now let's plot these points in complex plane where z is equals to 1 plus 0 i for k is equals to 0, z is equals to minus half plus root 3 by 2 i for k is equals to 1 and z is equals to minus half minus root 3 by 2 i for k is equals to 3. Let's plot our first point that is 1 and 0 which is on the real positive axis and the second point will be in second quadrant that is minus half and root 3 by 2 and third point in third quadrant that is minus half and minus root 3 by 2 and if we join them we will get a triangle so three sided figure and these three points they will be equally spaced point on a unit circle so unit circle is a circle with radius 1 so they are on the unit circle and equally spaced out. Similarly for z to the power 4 is equals to 1 we will get 4 equally spaced points on the unit circle. For z to the power 5 is equals to 1 we will get 5 sided figure which is equally spaced out on the unit circle. So a unit circle is a circle with radius 1. Our next and final topic of complex numbers is nth roots of complex numbers. Thanks for watching.